We're just back from Elkhart, Indiana, an RV capital of the world, where we were honored to be invited to host the RV Business Magazine's RV of the Year Awards for 2022. This is the first of five video tours of the finalists in our Behind the Scenes series. See the new styling and innovations, starting with East to West, Ahara Fifth Wheel. And stick around to the end to learn more about the official awards announcement and winner. So here we are with Mark, who's the sales manager for East to West, and we're gonna be walking through the new Ahara, which is brand new on the market. Yeah, excited to show you guys. This will be a first look of our newest floor plan, the 365RL. Let's take a look. Let's check it out. Come on in. This is beautiful in here, first off. I mean, this is really a stunning interior design. Yeah, I think we hit the mark. Uh, Lisa, our general manager, designed our interiors called Barrington Maple. The colors, the textures, I think they're on point, they're gorgeous. And then along with that, our team has done a great job of lining up all the windows, lining up all the cabinets, having a very clean, efficient look, but also loaded with storage. Right. Yeah, well, I, for me, I, I think this is amazing. This big island is super nice. You have this huge countertop space. So countertop space is so often a premium in an RV. And just having a quick look at where these slides are going to come in, it looks like you'd still have access to things. Yeah, slides are in. We can still get here to the 16 cubic foot refrigerator. Easily open both doors. So if you want to not only get food on the road, but maybe if you're going to stop at the grocery store on the way to the campground, now we can load this refrigerator without having to open the slide outs. That should be tricky to do in a parking lot. And then also we have our double pantry coat closet. Left side's been set up with shelves, so you can load that up with all kinds of uh, kitchen gear, food, appliances. And the right side has adjustable shelves, which we've removed for this demonstration. Gives you a couple coat hooks, place to hang your broom, umbrella, extra outlet down here if you want to charge a vacuum. Um, and then great adjustable shelves up top. So this has been one of our signature features. Well, and so when I was walking around, I mean, the, I can also feel there's a, this is a, this is a luxury coach because mm -hmm. you can feel it in the surfaces and sure. these counter cups, but I really feel it in these soft versus the couch here. This is super nice. Yeah. So one of the things that we are uh, listening to our customers on is there's a lot of fifth wheels that have built over the last decade, a lot of RVs in general with peeling, cracking furniture. You've seen uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> everyone's seen it on social media, probably seen it in person, unfortunately. Yeah. So we upgraded our fabrics from a typical two year hydrolysis, which basically is a fabric that's rated to last two years to a five-year hydrolysis so we partnered with a company called rich Loom. they supply our fabrics and these have a five-year warranty against peeling cracking and uh, degradation so um, and then again the hand on that furniture is fantastic yeah it's super nice so this is also the 78 inch easy out sofa you mind i'll show it to you real quick yeah, i'll sure. fold this thing out yeah so what this does it's the three seat sofa that converts into in my opinion the most comfortable queen bed out there uh, as far as hide beds go. And so we take the three cushions off. And all we have to do, super easy. Just lift. And pull. One handed. Super lightweight. Queen size bed. So you're not going to be apologizing to your guests with this kind of night <laughs> on here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's nice, firm, supportive. It's nice. It's not. And, but I just love how easy that was. My gosh, yeah. you put one hand on that. Yeah, and then when you push it back, it's just boom, right back in. Oh my gosh. And then the couch goes right back in. I finally could put that up and down. That's so easy. So, and part of it is we, we have great expectations about how durable it'll be over the long haul. Um, one other thing we upgraded, power recliners on this. So, uh, I don't have plugged in, but by the touch of a button here, these will recline. And then it's also one of the inverted outlets that we include with our solar system. Nice. Yeah, so I, when I was digging in, in the basement, I saw that they had mm -hmm. a big inverter, right? Yeah. 2,000 inverters, so. So this one is built with our optional solar system. Mm -hmm. Includes a 300 watt panel, 50 amp controller. Beneficial because you can expand the system to 600 watts if the customer chooses to. 2,000 watt inverter. It's supplying power to a handful of outlets in here. One of the kitchen outlets, so you can run a small kitchen appliance, the TV. The theater seats, we've got an inverted outlet in the bedroom, so you can run a CPAP machine or a second TV. Um, so we find that gives you a lot of flexibility in addition to this, the 12 volt system support that the solar system is going to give you. I mean, it feels super livable. Let, let's, let's go up and look at the bathroom and sure. the bedroom as well. Let's have a look in the bathroom here. I've never actually seen a bathroom like this. Yeah. I don't know how much room there is for both of us. <laughs> so first thing is pocket door so that we don't have any trouble getting in and out, having to do the door dance in the hallway here. Yeah. 
But also what is great about this bathroom is all the space we have. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're standing in a seamless fiberglass this shower. This is a pretty big shower, actually. This is nice. Four foot by two and a half foot, seamless. Yeah. So you don't have any of those flimsy plastic walls. But also, one of the things we really wanted to provide in this, in addition to elbow space and room, is storage, right? So we've got yeah. great linen cabinet storage all top to bottom here. Double vanity bathroom, bank of four drawers, mm. huge storage here, and huge storage here. That's a massive storage. Two individual medicine cabinets with this more storage. This is the most storage I've ever seen in an RV, actually. It's a... Uh, these as well, the mirror. It is, I would tell you, tell you this, if you can find a fifth wheel under 38 feet with more bathroom storage than this, then you should buy it, because I haven't seen it. <laughs> and then my favorite thing, if you excuse me yep. for a minute, I'm going to show This is one of my, always my favorite thing, is it passes my toilet test. There's tons of room here to do whatever you need to do. <laughs> so now we're here in the bedroom, and this is massive king-size bed. Yeah, and so one of the high points too is king-size bed is pretty common in a fifth wheel. Yeah. But what we try to do is give you bigger nightstands and more space to walk around the bed. Again, keeping it under 38 feet, but we've got room on both sides of the bed to get in and out of the bed. We upgraded the mattress to a Serta mattress, built-in nightstands with electrical outlets and USB outlets. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, something I didn't mention earlier, but check this out. We just added this cool little mood lighting here. Yeah, you know, just a nice little oh, touch. Nice. We love the symmetry of this, and we just wanted to downlight that back there. Uh, I love what you've done with the wood treatment of the headboard. That's really nice. Right, it's gives simple. us some nice yeah. contrast, some nice texture, um, brings in some of that color into the bedroom, and then... This is big storage in this closet. Huge front closet. Huge. And you've got a little, look at this shelf back here for your shoes. You yes. see, just like a little shelf down And here. flush floor. And flush floor, which yeah. is a really nice touch. Yeah, you don't have that awkward hump here that you have to navigate around. Storage up here, you can put baskets. There's a little lip on the front here, so it's going to keep your baskets here, so they're not going to fall off on travel days. And this is plumbed for a washer dryer. And you notice it's got the motion sensor lighting. We do nice. motion lighting in yeah. both closets and the bathroom hallway, but set up for a stackable washer dryer or a combo. And if you don't want to put a washer dryer in here, you got endless storage possibilities. Storage and, then, and then more storage drawers here. And then, is there storage under the bed? Yeah, these are the two drawers. So with the fixed base, right. we're giving you nice deep drawers underneath here. Right. And um, as we talk about outside, we'll show you how this bedroom slide is really advantageous because how much headroom it's going to give us. I really like the nice clean look, the, the, the colors and the, the nice clean lines. It looks very modern and timeless. The inside is amazing, but I was also really impressed with some of the things I'm noticing outside. I mean, this is a nice big storage area, but one of the most important things I've noticed is that you have the space, but you also have the weight. Capacity. Yes, yes. So, you know, a landing this floor plan below 12,000 pounds the way it's equipped, but still providing over 4,000 pounds of carrying capacity. If we're going to build a fifth wheel of 150 cubic feet of outside storage, we need to be able to support that weight. So we're using 7,000 pound heavy wall axles, so it's got a thicker tube than a normal 7,000 pound axle. Upgraded 4,000 pound springs, and we're using G-range tires, so we've really put heavy duty equipment on this, in addition to the Moride suspension and the wet bolt kit. Yeah, it's a nice job. I mean, it's for a rig that can be towed by a three-quarter ton truck to be able to still have all that storage capacity. 4,000 pounds is a lot of mm -hmm. gear. Yes. You know, I imagine most people hopefully won't use all that. No, and that's, <laughs> that's the idea is here, carry your 2,500, 3,000. We've still got plenty of breathing room before we're maxing out this fifth wheel. Yeah. And then one other thing I want to notice is this slide out on the other side. Yeah. So this is a bedroom slide, and usually I'm gonna, I at five foot eight am likely to hit this, and a six footer is gonna hit this, but I can touch, barely even touch it now. Mm -hmm. This has got tons of clearance. So this is with the uh, stationary base on the inside. So instead of having the base roll across the floor, we have the plywood rolling across the base. And that's done a few things for us. A, it's eliminated the, the hazard of hitting our head on the bedroom slide out. B, it's allowed us to eliminate the typical expansion joint you see here, um, that most fifth wheels have to avoid stress fractures. The other part is now it allows us to flip this door up higher. So instead of having the door come out at a 90 degree angle, it flips up higher. Right, so here, right here, now it can go all the way up here. Now I can get in here and access my docking station. I mean, this is probably one of our best innovations. Yeah, this is a really great unit. It's just so livable, so well thought out. I'm really impressed with it. So thanks Appreciate so much for walking it. us through, Mark. Thank Appreciate you. It. Thanks for taking a look. Appreciate it. Did you like the new Ahara fifth wheel by East to West RV? And do you think it will win RV of the year? Let us know in the comments below.
We're posting videos daily between now and November 15th when you can catch interviews with the finalists and announcement of the winner at 12 noon Eastern, November 15th, 2021 at rvbusiness.com. Now go check out the other video tours here on our channel and our behind the scenes interview with Rick Kessler of RV Business who shares how they select the RV of the Year finalists and the winner. Remember to like the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications and watch all the videos in the RV of the Year series. Thanks for watching.